question number 101. It says in an election of two candidates, the candidate who gets 41% is rejected by majority of 2412 votes. The total number of votes pool are. So in this question, there are two candidates. So hence, the vote share will be equal to 100%. So if one candidate gets 41%, the other candidate must get 59% and the winner here is 59% and the loser is 41% and the difference is 18%. So to get the total number of votes pool, we will use the formula majority is equal to winner person minus loser person into total. The majority here is from the quotient is given that it is 2, 4, 1, 2. So substituting the values, the difference is 18% into total is equal to the majority so converting 18 percent into decimal will have 0 0.18 so solving this we will get the total to be 13,400 hence option b is the right answer going on to question number 102 it says two numbers are respectively 30 percent and 40 percent less than a third number what person is the second number of the first number? So here in the question, it is given that there are three numbers, first, second, and the third number. And we need to find how much person is the second number of the first number. So to solve this, we will first consider the third number to be 100. Why 100? Because we need to find in terms of percentage and considering it to be 100 will make it easy to solve. So according to the question, first number is 30 percent less than the third number that is 100 minus 30 will be equal to 70. similarly second number is 40 percent less than third number so 100 minus 40 equal to 60. now to find how much person is the second number of the first number we'll use the formula required person is equal to second number divided by the first number into 100. So substituting here, 60 by 70 into 100 will be equal to 600 divided by 7. So dividing this, we will get the answer to be 85, 5 by 7 persons. Hence, option B will be the right answer. Question number 103. It says a shopkeeper marks the price of his goods 12% higher than its original price. After that, he allows a discount of 12%. What is his percentage? profit or loss so here we need to find a percentage whether it is a profit or a loss so as in the uh, previous question if we need to find a percentage we will consider the original price or the cost price to be 100 according to the question the mark price will be 100 plus 12 percent of 100 because here it is given that he has increased 12 percent higher than its original price. So 100 plus 12% 12 of 100, we will get 112. Later, he allows a discount of 12%. So discount will be equal to 12% 12 of 112. That is 12% of the mark price. Solving this, we will get 13.44. Now the selling price will be 112, that is the mark price, subtracted by the discount. We will get 98.44. 5, 6. So here we will not get to know what is the answer. Either it's a profit or a loss by subtracting the selling price minus the original price. That is the cost price. We will get the answer to be minus 1.44 which is a loss. Hence the loss percentage will be 1.44 divided by 100 in 200 will be 1.44 percent. Hence option d is the right answer question number 104 it says a shopkeeper marks the prices at 15 percent higher than the original price due to increase in demand he further increased the price by 10 percent the profit earned by the shopkeeper is so here we need to find the profit earned by the shopkeeper due to the successive percentage change from 15 percent to 10 percent from the original price so use that directly with a formula that is successive percentage change will be equal to a plus b plus a into b divided by 100 
So here A is equal to 15, B is equal to 10 and substituting A and B in this formula, we will get the answer to be 26.5%. Hence option A is the right answer. Question number 105. If one of the sides of the rectangle is increased by 20% and the other is increased by 5%, then the percentage change in its area is. So in this quotient also, we will need to apply the same formula as in the previous quotient. Here, A is equal to 20, B is equal to 5. Substituting A and B in the formula, A plus B plus A into B divided by 100. On solving this, we will get the answer to be 26%. Hence, option C is the right answer. Number 106. It says the average age of a family of six members is 22 years. If the age of the youngest member be seven years, then what was the average age of the family at the birth of the youngest member? So here it is given that the age of the youngest member is seven years. And we need to find is the average age of the family at the birth of the youngest member. So if the youngest is 7 years, at the birth of the youngest means it's 7 years ago. So we'll explain properly in the answer. We'll see first what is given in the quotient. There are 6 family members and the present average age is 22 years. So the total age will be 6 into 22 which is 132 years. So here it is given that the youngest is seven years. So at the birth of the son of the youngest, that is seven years ago, everyone was seven years younger. So to find the new average, we will need to subtract seven into six. That is seven years ago into six family members. We'll get the answer to be 42. So the new total will be 132 minus 42 that is 90 and the new average is 90 divided by 6 family members so the answer will be 15 hence option c will be the right answer question number 107 it says in a class there are 20 boys whose average age is decreased by two months when one boy age 18 years is replaced by a new boy then the age of the new boy is. So here we need to find the age of the new boy when one boy whose age is 18 years is replaced by a new boy. So see first what is given in the quotient. It says there are 20 boys and the average decreases by 2 months when a new boy comes. Hence the decrease in total will be 20 into 2 where that will be 40 months Converting 40 months into years, we will have 3 years, 4 months. So the new boy age will be the age of the boy that is to be replaced, subtracting with the decrease in total. And to be able to subtract this, we have to convert 18 years into years and months. So it will be eight, 17 years, 12 months, subtracting with 3 years, 4 months, we will get the answer to be 14 years, 8 months. Hence, option A is the right answer. Question number 108. It says the ratio of the ages of the father and the son at present is 6 is to 1. After 5 years, the ratio will become 7 is to 2. The present age of the son is. So look first what is given in the quotient. It is given that at present, the ratio of the father and the son is 6 is to 1. So let us consider their ages to be 6x and x, that is 6x of the father and x of the son. And it is also given that after 5 years, the ratio will become 7 is to 2. So after 5 years, the father age will be 6x plus 5 and the son will be x plus 5 and this will be equal to 7 is to 2. So cross multiplying this, we have 2 6x plus 5 and 7x plus 5. So simplifying this as shown here, we will be able to find the answer of the x to be 5. Hence, the sun age is 5 years, which is option A to be the correct answer. Question number 109. 
it says the sum of the ages of a mother and her daughter is 50 years. Also, five years ago, that is five years back, the mother's age was seven times the age of the daughter, the present age of the mother is. So here we need to find the present age of the mother. So we'll see the, according to the conditions given the quotients. It says that the sum of the mother's age and the daughter's age is 50 years. So we'll keep this as the daughter age to be 50 minus the mother's age as equation 1. And it's also given that 5 years ago, the mother's age was 7 times the daughter age. So if it's 5 years ago, we have to subtract by 5 for both mother and daughter. But here, according to the quotient, the mother's age is 7 times. So 7 into the daughter's age. So substituting equation 1 in equation 2, we will have the mother's age will be m minus 5, 7. The daughter age is according to equation 1 is 50 minus m. So it's 50 minus m minus 5. So simplifying this as shown here, we will get the mother's age to be 40 years. Hence, option C is the right answer. Question number 110. It says a grocer sells rice at a profit of 10% and uses a weight which is 20% less than his total percentage gain is. So to solve this question, let us go directly to the solution and understand how to solve. So as usual, if we need to find a percentage, let us consider the cost price of 1 kg of rice to be 100 rupees. So according to the question, the grocer sells 10% higher than the original price. So the grocer sells 1 kg to be 110 because he has increased 10%. But the grocer cheated and gave 20% less weight than the original weight. So 20% of 1 kg will be equal to 0.2 kg and hence the reduced weight here will be equal to 0.8 kg. Since the cost of 1 kg here is 100 and the cost of 0.8 kg will be equal to 80. So the condition here is the grocer was selling 0.8 kg which is the at the cost of 80 rupees and he was selling at a price of 110. So the profit earned is 110 minus 80 will be equal to 30. So the percentage profit is 30 divided by 80 into 100. So the answer is 37.5%. Hence, option B is the right answer.